In this lesson, we're going to talk about the optimization problem, specifically making the most economical can. So this problem says a cylindrical can is to hold 20 pi cubic meters. The material for the top and bottom costs $10 per square meter, and material for the side costs $8 per square meter. Find the radius, r, and height, h, of the most economical can. So the hardest part of this problem is to think about what this cost equation actually looks like. And in order to do that, I need to talk about something with these um, units here, these square meters, that's your hint, that I'm talking about a surface area because I'm talking about how much material I'm using. So how much material covers this can. So let's think about that. You now all the time we memorize these silly surface area formulas, but it's very easy to just think about this and deconstruct it to figure out what this formula is because it's very easy to understand. So I'm going to start with this spaghetti o can right here. This is a very easy visual. If you have a can in your cupboard and you're not understanding it well, go take it out and take the label off because the label is going to help you understand this area of the center part here. Because if I took this and unrolled it, it would actually just become this rectangle, wouldn't it? If I unrolled this label, it would just be this rectangle. And what do I know? I know the height here is just my H, that's easy. But what is this length here? Well, if I unrolled that, that length is actually just the circumference of my circle, right? So the circumference, which is two pi r, that's the length of this. And how would I find the area? The area is the length times the width, which is two pi r h. So that's the area of this middle part. And then how do I find the area of the top? Well, the area of the top is the same as the area of the bottom, and that is just pi r squared, because it's just a circle. Pop the lid off of a can. It's just pi r squared, right? So how do I figure out the whole surface area? I just add everything up. So the surface area is going to be, I have a top and I have a bottom, so that's two of these pi r squareds, and then I have this middle area right here, which we figured out was 2 pi r times h, times the height of my can. So that's it. That's a surface area. Now that I know that, my cost is going to be quite easy to figure out. Let's start at the beginning. A cylindrical can is to hold 20 pi okay, meters cubed. That is my hint that that's a volume type thing, 20 pi is my volume and my volume is pi r squared h, right? That's the volume of a can. We have the base times the height, pi r squared times h. And then what is the cost equation? That's what I actually want to optimize the cost, right? I want to try and minimize in this case. So the cost equation is going to be $10 for the top and the bottom, so $10, the top was pi r squared, the bottom was pi r squared, so I have two of those pi r squareds, plus the middle part. And we had said that that middle part was just rolled out to that rectangle, and so I had the two pi r h. And how much does that cost? That costs $8, right? So my cost is 20 pi r squared plus 16 pi r h. Now what is this equation here? This obviously, since it's not what I'm trying to optimize, is going to be my helper. It's going to help me get my cost equation all in one variable. And that's the name of the game with these optimization problems. We want to use the helper equation to get whatever we're trying to optimize, minimize, or maximize into one variable. We want to get it into one variable before we take a derivative. So I use my helper to do that. And see, I have an r squared here, and I have an r times h here. So obviously, I have more r stuff going on. So I'm probably going to want to solve for the h. Also, I don't want to have to square anything. So Solving for h is definitely a good idea in this one. So I divide both sides by pi r squared. So I have 20 pi over pi r squared. In other words, 20 over r squared. That's my h. So I'm going to use that to help me get this all in terms of r. So I have 20 pi r squared plus 16 pi r. Instead of h, I'm putting in 20 over r squared. So now continue simplifying. 20 pi r squared plus 16 times 20 is 320 
pi, r divided by r squared, I'm just going to write r to the negative 1 because that's going to be easy to take the derivative of, right? So now our goal is to minimize. So we're going to take a derivative, right? So c prime is going to be 20 times 2 is 40 pi r minus 320 pi r to the negative 2. And to find the critical values, remember that I need to see where c prime equals 0 or where c prime does not exist. In order to really look for where it does not exist, I really want to get this all into one big fraction so that I can just set the numerator equal to 0 for this part and the denominator equal to 0 for this part. So that is going to be 40 pi r minus 320 pi over r squared. So obviously my big denominator is going to be that r squared. In order to get the r squared in this denominator, I must multiply the numerator by r squared also. And so I have 40 pi r cubed minus 320 pi. So c prime equals 0, when the numerator equals 0, 40 pi r cubed equals 320 pi. In other words, r cubed equals 8, r equals 2, and it does not exist when the denominator equals 0, when r squared equals 0, when the radius is 0. That uh, answer actually doesn't make sense at all. If the radius was 0, I wouldn't have a can in the first place. So we can throw that one out, and our only answer is going to be when the radius is 2, that is going to minimize the cost of this thing. So find the radius and height. So we have the radius is 2 meters. And the height we found was 20 over r squared, so 20 over 4, 5 meters. And that is how I do that problem.